Welcome to In the Spotlight. I'm Janelle Broderick. And I'm Grace Anastasiavis. We're your hosts for Howard Community College's program, highlighting the art and artists featured in the Horowitz Visual and Performing Arts Center. HCC's music department offers students a variety of opportunities to perform. End of semester concerts feature soloists and ensembles. The next performances are May 7th, 10th, and May 12th. Joining us today is music student Nathan Dufresne. Welcome, Nathan. Hi, happy to be here. Great, it's uh, great to have you. Um, I, I have the first question. Yay. Uh, tell us a little bit about your background. What attracted you to music? What instruments do you play? Uh, for background, I have been in the Columbia area my whole life. I don't think I've ever left the East Coast, in fact. Um, what got me into music, this is one of my favorite stories, is Christmas 2009. My dad got Rock Band for the PlayStation 3. <laughs> And then him and I got very competitive over our high scores on the little like plastic drum set thing. And that, you know, got me started with the percussing. And then, you know, they let me try out drums at church and that kind of got the ball rolling. So from middle school on, I've been drumming my whole life. That's wonderful. And do you play drums or? Oh, I, I do all of it. I do the drum set. I do the orchestral percussion. I'm a percussionist with the Columbia Orchestra. So it's, I cannot count how many instruments I play because there's a lot of small weird auxiliary things, but I do drum set. I'm a little bit specialized in mallet percussion, especially the marimba and the vibraphone. Very cool. Wonderful. So what brought you to HCC as a music major? Well, I graduated high school in 2020 from Hammond High School, and I was accepted to Towson University as a music education major, so I was enrolled there. But 2020 was the year where everything shut down because of COVID. So I had all my classes virtually. And being alone in my basement all day staring at a laptop was not the college experience I had envisioned for myself. So I failed most of my classes and then dropped out. And then I spent a gap semester where I was just a full-time pizza delivery guy, which was a lot of fun for me. And then I saw that HCC was offering in-person classes. And I thought that was a affordable, low stakes way of trying again at academia. And having my courses in person made all the difference. So I've been here since fall 2021 and it's been great. Wonderful. Tell us about your experience here at HCC. Oh, it's been excellent. I started out uh, with only a couple classes. I didn't even start out in the music department. I just took a ASL course was my first one, just to sort of dip my toes into this world. But I've gotten, you know, I've jumped in headfirst to the music department now. And I've had my lessons and the music lit and theory and ear training and all the rigmarole that music students have to do. And it's been really great. I'm on my fourth semester now and I'm on track. Who are some of your favorite professors here at HCC? Ooh, it's really tough to name just one. I think I'd have to go with my private lesson instructor, Tim McKay. He's really good in our lessons of sort of meeting me where I'm at. He never railroads our lesson or anything like that. And he's a very well-connected person, and I enjoy the benefits of that. If anyone in the Columbia area needs a percussionist, they're probably going to email Tim. And that's advantageous to me, because if he can't do a gig himself, he'll pass it along to me. Last semester, I did a theater gig at Stevenson University. This semester, I did a theater gig at River Hill High School. And both of those, I got those gigs because, you know, Tim referred me. So his connections have gotten me legit paying gigs. So I'm out there in the music world. He's really jump-started my career in a very direct way. That's so cool. Uh, we hear you have been recently published. Tell us a little bit about that. That's right. This semester I started composing pieces for the vibraphone, my favorite percussion instrument. I premiered my fourth one just earlier today, but my second one, it's called Dance of the Day and I submitted it for publication at this place called Tap Space. It's a fairly big name in the percussion music world and they accepted it for publication. So it's months down the road when it's going to actually be like in my hands and getting sold, but they accepted it. And my other three pieces, I have been self-publishing, just handling everything through PayPal. So I've made, I've made some pretty good sales there too. That's so awesome. Mm. That's really awesome. Yeah. So what is next for you? Uh, when are you planning to graduate and uh, what's on the horizon? Well, the original plan was to get my associate's degree at the end of this semester. Unfortunately, I am a science and a math credit shy, so I'll have to get those over the summer. 
but I have been accepted back to Towson University as a music education major. So I've already been picking out my courses over there and talking to their advisors. So fall 2023, I'm going to hit Towson University. That's fabulous. So what have some of the highlights been of your time at HCC? I'd have to say it's the performances I've given here. The Music Institute is really good at offering a lot of performance opportunities. Every Friday we have a performance lab where all of the music majors gather together and we just perform what we've been working on in our lessons. And it's really nice because you've got composers and vocalists and jazz students and string players and percussionists all in the same room together. It's a wonderful diversity, so I get to hear a lot of music and I get to play a lot of music. Earlier today I gave my seventh, maybe eighth performance of the semester because I really like to. You know, I'm performing all over. I performed at the convocation this semester, which was really exciting for me. It was a, it was a great chance to impress the president too. I'll never turn that down. <laughs> <laughs> True. Well, thank you for your time today. We certainly wish you all the best at Towson. Thanks. Absolutely. For more information on the music department and its concerts, visit howardcc.edu slash music. For a full list of visual and performing arts events in the Horowitz Center, visit howardcc.edu slash Horowitz Center and follow us on Facebook. Thanks for joining us for this segment of In the Spotlight. See you next time. <laughs>